segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, I'll speak to vlog. <sighs> yeah, we're still doing our daily vlogs. Vlogging every single day, or, or, or actually throughout the day too now, if we're doing more of our vlogs. And, um, all the vlogs. So I'll make you a time and date stamp. It is 22 hours and 23 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 22nd, 2016. I'd like to wish my sister-in-law, uh, Sharon, a happy birthday. So this is a happy, happy birthday shout-out to you, but it's going to be a bit, so it's going to be a, a belated happy birthday by the time this gets up. Realizing that this is the case, and, uh, <laughs> the footage that you just saw, saw, just saw a couple, uh, a couple, uh, oh. I think the last video, the last uh, episode, because uh, I, I think I, I think the uh, I put everything. In, I'm going to be putting everything, all, all the footage uh, of walking, <clears throat> the tour of the village of Prophet Elias. I'm going to be putting all that into one uh, episode, so that's going to be a single episode, and you can sort of take a look and sort of see uh, where Mars Alpha is, where my new office is. And it's a this it, it's a really nice office. If you know this is this is the type of work. If you really like the outdoors, this is the type of work that's great for because that's your office. That you know Mars Alpha is my office. That's where I go up and do my work. I have my office here, but I also have my office up there now, and I have my office outside to do the observation. I've got the portable office, so um, I'm good to go. And the thing is, my office is my study desk, right? That's my, that's my job. My job is studying. It's, it's research. So. so it's middle school for life. That's my job. I'm getting paid to do uh, school projects. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm in one of my down periods. Uh, the adrenaline has come off, so I'm in the middle of an adrenaline crash. And you can just feel the... Uh, you don't want to vlog at this point in time. I I was, you know, kind of fighting myself. Should I vlog? Should I not vlog? So I said, let me take a few minutes here. Uh, five minutes, we'll do a little bit of a vlog. I have a bit of a discussion and just check up on... Uh, I think it's... I have sort of getting back to watching. Uh, just, I have to, it, when I leave, uh, because of the data restrictions, I don't watch... Uh, or Taylor or anything like that uh, when I'm up there. So I watch everything here. Now I don't have uh, a, an Android device that I can actually watch the uh, everything on. So uh, I do have an Android, but it's not, just not, I don't have anything set up for that, t that TV for the uh, vlog type of thing. So uh, I'm probably going to do that the next trip. I'll try to sort of get uh, an Android box or, or, or tablet set up so that I can watch uh, Bertaley. And all my YouTube videos, uh, my YouTube shows. So I did more than a year ago. I cut cut my cable, so I've been watching, uh, trying to replace everything uh, like the Family Channel, uh, Disney TV shows, Nickelodeon shows with uh, stuff that I find on YouTube. And I've found more than enough content. I think the kids on YouTube. And the family, the family shows like like Britt Haley do a significantly better job than uh, Liv and Maddie and uh, and all the other Disney shows. I think it's, these are uh, the the interactions between the family members or even between friends is well, it's natural. It's not it's not fake. It's not put on. 
And so there, that, that, there's that natural rapport there between, let's say, the characters. Uh, if you sort of, this is the type of person you are really interested in watching the interplay between two different people. Uh, then these YouTube shows are very interesting because they, that's what they have. They have these sort of character interplays. You know, Shea Tarts has that as well. There's uh, <clears throat> there's some pretty good interplay between the uh, family members. So uh, you can there's something for you to watch there in terms of uh, again, this is about watching the family interplay about the interaction between individuals. So they don't necessarily have to be doing something in order to be exciting or to be interesting. It's just the, it's the interaction between the, fam, the family members that becomes, and their extended friends or, or family, that becomes the focal point for the entertainment. Uh, from my, this is the way I view things, this is the way I watch TV. All my shows are like that. All my shows are, are more based on dialogue, more based on uh, character interactions, the personal interactions, and personalities. <coughs> it was windy and cold out when I walked, so I think my, I might be getting a little bit of a cold. I feel something at the back of my throat, so we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, yeah, so is it... I'm... I'm I realize there is going to be a lag. A three-hour drive, two and a half, two and a half, three-hour drive, is a long drive. It's 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 a long traveling thing, and even when as even though it's relaxing up there, it's uh, very relaxing up at Mars Alpha, uh, and and that that uh, Mars Alpha because it's it's still in development, pretty much in, in, early on in development needs a lot of engineering work and needs a lot of physical work uh, and that uh, that physical maintenance the the work you have to do to to design and redesign things and repair them if they need to be repaired uh, takes a physical toll on the body it does tax the system and it's extra work because it has to be done in conjunction with all the other work that has to be done, the writing, the reading, you know, everything, the studying, all that has to be all, all done together. In other words, the pace I have here continues to profit a lot with the now internet connection, but the other odds and ends of uh, of uh, of moving in to a new place that's there as well. The moving in part is still there, so. I got the I I got the uh, water system partially working. Um, again, and this is this, it, 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 it's boggling to me how certain parts can be sold as they are, and they're defective. And it's, it was it wasn't just that one device one uh, connector was defective. All the connectors were defective. And so this is looks to me like not a sort of a one-off defect, but actually an inherent flaw in the design of the connector. That if you use this type of connector, uh, that you're typically always going to have leaks in the system. So unless if you want to be always having leaks and having uh, water all over the place, uh, then you get these you know, these connectors. So, and I'll show you, and then when I go up and do the work, I'll show you where the problem is and how I work around the particular problem. And I'll actually be doing more uh, work on uh, the RV, the the uh, Mars Alpha uh, there, because I'm going to end up running it year-round. So that's the goal. The goal is to run it year-round, and uh, this will be the challenge to run it year-round. And I'll let you know how things go and... Uh, uh, what you need to do it if you want to be living in an RV year round, if, if you want to do that for for you know as I said, as I said a second property or or second place, uh, or even if you want to do it as your primary, you want to go off grid. All right, so I'm going to try to do uh, with uh, this RV, uh, my Mars Elf. I'm going to try to do as much as possible off grid, uh, and but then again, that's a process. There's a whole design process that has to go into this, and. 
it's I said, an interesting challenge, and it's a new tangent. But it's it, it's it's well, it's not necessarily a new tangent. It's it's somewhat of a new tangent because Mars Alpha has always been there. It's just now Mars Alpha has come forward as a project that's working on a much more significant basis than what than it did even last year. So that's sort of the case here now. Is that that more work uh, this year? And sort of piled on. I'm getting used to the schedule. I'm getting used to the workload. Uh, but it, nonetheless, it is a workload, and it does uh, uh, sap your energy to a certain degree. So that's why I'm sort of sitting here now, kind of dazed. I'll probably fin finishing up watching some extra videos. Uh, you know, one or two more videos, and I'll probably end up going back. To I had gone gone to bed typically around uh, around five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, and then I just got up around. Uh, Around ten, actually. Yeah. So I give you the time, uh, timestamp. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now, and uh, I will see you uh, maybe later on tonight. Let's see if I get up again, or, or if not, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, uh, probably in church. All right, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the. Next segment of uh, Big Bang Zero's BTS vlog. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is zero. It's um, seven hours and fifty-four minutes into the day of Sunday, October twenty twenty-third, two thousand fourteen. So yeah, I'm up to go to church again. Uh, I said weekends are rather busy. The uh, so I usually take my if there's time to do that. I take my days off on Monday or Tuesday. That's when I usually take my uh, sort of a little extra time to sleep. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen for Monday uh, because I do have to do food shopping. I was supposed to go uh, yesterday. But <sighs> but uh, I didn't. Uh, I was too tired. My legs were too sore. So didn't end up going. Uh, I will be going uh, uh, though on Monday. And I decided the menu for this week is going to either is going to be. Uh, uh, I'm doing some some degree of Oktoberfest, so uh, I'll be doing uh, schnitzel and uh, and, and uh, fried chicken this week. So uh, so <laughs> we'll see how that ends up working out. You know. Uh, you know, try out these different. Uh, I got some new recipes I've got to try out, uh, and uh, we'll go from there and start of seeing you know how uh, things end up working out in terms of uh, uh, what I'm able to produce in terms of the quality of the schnitzel. Uh, I'm going to be trying working on uh, the next thing I want to work on. I work work on my uh, sauces, and that's why I'm actually doing the schnitzels. I want to work on my sauces. And uh, try to get things better. Uh, so, and that means also that uh, I'll be working as because I'm working more in the kitchen now. Uh, it's more functional. Uh, the um, and with everything else that sort of that's evolved, I'll be working more on Kawhi Tea House TV because <clears throat> all the cooking and everything like that is going to come out eventually on there. So. <laughs> Let's look forward to that. Uh, there's a lot to sit down. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, schedule work that I have to do uh, tonight and t uh, today and tomorrow. And I will be sort of getting that done bit by bit as uh, the day moves along. So, uh, as well as the, these few days move along, trying to get a schedule sort of together as to, uh, okay, what I've accomplished, what's standard, and now what can be sort of uh, reorganized and put back into the thing on a more uh, regular basis. So uh, that's kind of where things are going to go. Uh, so uh, I think I'm going to leave that here now. For, I'm going to leave it short and I'll probably do some more uh, vlogging later on today, uh, probably in church. And uh, we'll go from there. So, <laughs> all right. I'll see you then. It's just about nine o'clock in the morning. No, nine thirty actually. It's nine hours and thirty minutes into the day of October uh, twenty third, two thousand sixteen. I'm going to show you the bishop getting dressed.
church we see as I'm bringing more and more of the church to you there is some needs there is a need to understand uh, what you're seeing uh, in many cases in the common case we think and we've presented by the, by the institutional church that uh, we are being symbolic about what we're doing and this is not the case here the original church which basically was a family church it was family oriented you can sort of see this difference between uh, uh, this church and other churches. Although we are a metropolis, uh, we are still very much a village-style church, where the mentalities of the village, which is basically family-oriented, are foremost present, and it's the method of operation as a village church even though we are a metropolis that, can, that, that brings us to where we are today. Uh, the institutional church 
is more official. There are committees, there's uh, bylaws, there's a lot of uh, structural organization that sort of many people feel is a necessity. Uh, when the church gets large enough, you have to organize things. That they have, you know, and so they they try to run this thing on a more institutional basis. Although that's not necessary with technology today, that's not that's not absolutely necessary. You don't actually have to have a lot of the structural uh, inputs that you have uh, for an institu institutional church. You know, the requirements of an institu institutional church uh, aren't really necessary. There are other methods that allows you to keep the family orientation, the village orientation. And this is kind of almost always a constant battle between uh, uh, the people who want a more city-oriented, who want more an institutional church, they want the organization, they want the structures, they want to be elected to these particular boards or committees, uh, and for them the position is important. Uh, then there are the village type, the people who prefer the village type of church, where it's more family oriented and uh, that structure is what's most in their mind but the thing is is that uh, more often than not as the church becomes more lives in a more modern time the younger generations tend to be want to be more uh, modern more institutional and as such uh, the church follows that institutional path away from the original village, away from the, the family orientation. In other words, they move from the path that he won, the fa uh, my father, right, or father of mine. And this is what in path that he won is a personal connection to God. And this is what it, it's hard translating into English. If you've listened to any of the services in English. I did post some of the stuff in English uh, last week, last time. Yeah, last week uh, for uh, no, it was two weeks ago for the wedding, uh, and what you heard in English, and you listen to it, that sounds not so good. The English doesn't sound as good as in many cases the Greek because there's a lot of there's a lot of understanding that 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 is missed in translation between one language and another, and so we talk about instead of talking about our father, we talk about our father, right? The the, the the, the statement of our father. The our father in, for the average person, for the common view of Christian, is God as a collective father who is some way, way far off and he's just generally ours. There is no personal interconnection between yourself and God. That's the way it's viewed. Uh, that's the common view. That's actually an incorrect view. If you go back into the Greek, you go into the patadimon, you see that there is a personal interpersonal relationship with the, between yourself and God that that you do have that that, that that paternal relationship with God and that's there and it's there almost on a daily basis if, if you really are willing to take a look at it but a lot of times we expect more grandiose things and so in many cases we miss the the day to day right? if you're looking for the grandiose you're looking for the big signs then you miss the day-to-day -day interaction because you're not simply looking for it. You sort of dismiss something that's sort of day-to-day -day because, well, it's day-to-day. -day. And this is sort of the same thing here. The church, you can be sitting here for years. So, oh, this is day-to-day. -day. I do this once a week. You know, I come here, you know, Sundays to go to the church services and so on and so forth. And you do your prayers, you do your fasting, you do your duty, right? But in many cases, you don't think about it. And this is the whole thing: is you gotta, th you have to think about why you're here. And if you just simply follow the rules, then that's all you're doing is you're, you're following the rules. You're behaving like a sheep, and you don't have that personal interaction with Christ, with God, the way you should. Uh, and the thing is, is that when you do start taking a look at this, instead of saying taking a look at my own attic, and this is what it was. This was my own attic here. This is my backyard. And the initial was to sort of dismiss, dismiss everything. Just, well, yeah, I'm here. And this is sort of... It wasn't until I sat, sat down and started taking a second look and said, hey, well, maybe there's something more here. That I began to understand that there was actually a lot more here. Like when we come into church, right? I consider this to be my second home because I've been here so much. But the reality is, is that what the church is during the service, when we have the service like this, it's not symbolic. We're not dealing with symbolism. The service gives us a, a bit of heaven. It takes us to heaven for a bit. 
So we get a taste, a foretaste of what's to come. At the same time, we are not remembering the life of Christ, but actually walking in step with the life of Christ uh, during the service. In other words, we are taken out of time, and we sit out of outside of our linear time, and then we sit at all points in history simultaneously. And this is we bring it, bring it, go back into quantum physics, quantum physics again. Uh, because quantum physics, this is where you, we start meeting up with a term called simultaneity. Things exist simultaneous as two two things. It, it's one thing that behaves or exists in two different forms at the same time, like light. Right? Light is both a particle and a wave at the exact same time. We need to go out to energy. We see that matter and energy are indeed related. The e equals m c squared, and that has a duality there. That, that these think these ex these energies and the matters, the mass exist at the exact same time. So and this is what they're about simultaneity. And there are other issues when you get into black holes and uh, 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 wormholes and so on and so forth, uh, that, uh, that you're dealing with this term now, simultaneity. So if you understand quantum physics is coming into the church here and understanding that, that God exists everywhere present simultaneously, and that we has this interpersonal relationship and the common relationship at the exact same time. This is what the, sort of the full meaning of the Pate de Mon. The Pate de Mon gives us both the singular and the plural uh, interaction with God. So God has the, the individual, the my father, and the our father at the exact same time. So he's mine, he's, he's everybody's father at the exact same time. And with all the churches that, that, are, are, that are actually connected to God, connected to the Father. And I was going to talk about this more, about being within the family, having a church that's within the family. And the church actually means a house. It's not actually an institution. The, the actual, they go back into the uh, history of the word church, it refers to a house, not an institution, not just simply a building. So that's sort of deviated from there on out. So as we uh, get into this more and more, uh, we'll sort of, uh, this is where the crossover between BTS and uh, uh, and the uh, meditations will be because this is going to be in both uh, meditations and in uh, BTS, the uh, BTS TV's uh, meditation. So it's going to be in meditations and it's going to be in the uh, uh, BTS logs. Uh, this is how you develop your understanding. This is how you develop a better understanding of the church. And again, it's, this is something that cannot be separated. These are not concepts that cannot be separated or separated from reality. You have to experience as well as simply think about. It. In other words, the church is not simply conceptual. It's the holistic experience. It's mind, body, and soul all together, uh, working together. And this is what the West has, has, has removed. It's divorced itself. Uh, all the components of the mind, body, and soul have been divorced. They've been separated. They've been uh, hacked off. So the, the, they systematically, from 1000 AD, began separating and, and dismembering the body, the holistic body, and now you have, in, in the West, you have uh, no longer even a body, you don't have the soul, and the mind itself is sitting off in a, in a driftless abyss of nothingness. And this is actually what postmodern is. Postmodern is, is a, a, a abyss of nothing, nothingness, where all concepts are what they are, and all reality is, is, is simply a concept, it's simply an illusion, because nothing is real. And this is what you hear a lot of times from uh, 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 people who are goth or who are uh, sort of taking a look at what the world really is, and they'd say, oh, this world is black, um, you know, there's no hope, uh, uh, their life is in the shadow, the darkness, um, the abyss of darkness, the abyss of empty emptiness. Well, this is what postmodernism is. And this is what we're seeing today with our politicians, uh, particularly on the left, we're seeing this abyss of nothingness, this illusion become forefront. And this is where you have homosexuality, this is where you have uh, transgender. It exists in this abyss of nothingness, in the abyss of postmodernism. So, we'll sort of, bit by bit, as we go and do our, our holistic work, uh, and develop our holistic understanding, we'll sort of look at how things from the, uh, the bigger, larger understanding, the more esoteric understanding, or if, evolves and revolves within our life. Alright, I'll see you uh, probably in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog, and for meditations, uh, on to the next section. We'll see what it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be kind of disjointed. Alright.
Welcome. Welcome to the library. And I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.